So Armor 1 is the replacement for the mat sinking unit, which has been at home in the Vicksburg district since 1948. Uh, so it is a modern day replacement built on three tenants, safety, reliability, and efficiency. One of the things we wanted to do when we designed this is not just repeat uh, and rebuild what we already had in the 1940s. We wanted to bring it up to date with new designs and also add robotics, safety features, and make it fully compliant with all safety and regulatory uh, uh, issues across the Mississippi River to include the Coast Guard standards. So we've spent the last five or so years partnered with the National Robotics Engineering Center uh, here in Pittsburgh. And that has gone through a process of uh, brainstorming, of conceptual design, of CAD drawings leading all the way up to a full-scale working prototype. It represents the largest uh, robotic complex that the National Robotics Engineering Center has ever built. Uh, so very successful project, very high visibility project that the Corps of Engineers must have so that we can continue to meet our navigation mission out on the Mississippi River uh, just like we've been doing since the 1940s, we're going to continue this in the future. So a very key piece of equipment for us. So we saw a demonstration of the robotics over at the National Robotic Engineering Center, uh, part of Carnegie Mellon University. Uh, that very successful demonstration showed us, uh, really showed us how successful that prototype process has been over the last three to four years. So we completed prototyping of the robotics tested those in September of 2020, and then we saw those test results again today. Some of the things we saw at the National Robotic Engineering Center today were those innovations that we've built into the, uh, the lifting cranes and the mat deck uh, on Armor One. And one of the most obvious ones that you can see uh, out there is how the mat is picked up. It's picked up by the robotics with sensors very carefully raised, angled properly, and then placed on the deck. And this is, to done, this is done to keep from damaging the mat or harming it so we can tie it together easily uh, with the robotics on the deck. Another uh, way that it's innovative out there, uh, the mat deck is active, which means that when you put the mat on the deck, it's not just roll or sliding it down the slope, there's actually rollers that can move it and adjust it back and forth. And that gives us the alignment we need to make sure the robotics can make the ties. Right now, that's all done by hand. With crowbars and wedges and things like that, it takes a lot of time. Uh, now we can do that automatically. Uh, from here on out, we are building this ship down in Houma, Louisiana at Thomas C. Uh, Shipyard and that will take place over the next year and a half. In December of 2022, we'll take it out on the river, we'll do full up, full trial testing, and then we'll move it to the Vicksburg District for the start of the 2023 mat sinking season.